Hey everybody, welcome back to the Midwest Motors channel. My name is Matt. Today is Monday, President's Day. Hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, hopefully you guys all had the day off. I had the day off. The company I work for has some odd holidays. I think we get 11. I'm not complaining. I don't usually take days off, so that's pretty nice. So anyway, what we're working on today is we're going to break down this motor right here. This is a Baldor. Baldor. Reliance Super E motor. So Super E stands for efficiency. It is a 10 horse and it is a 208, 230, or 460 volt three phase. Uh, let's see here. I brought the scale out to show you how much this guy weighs because he looks small sitting here on the counter, but he's really not. So I'm going to put the camera in the holder and then uh, we're going to get that motor up on the scale and we'll see how big she really is. Alright, so here we go. Get the scale zeroed out here. Let's see here, it's on kilograms. We'll go to pounds and ounces for now and we'll come back to kilograms. So it's zeroed out. What's up, sitting on there? Alright guys, I don't know if we can see this. Let me come over here where I can see what the camera sees. 149 pounds, 13 ounces. And I turned it off. All right, so I'll zero back out. We're going to go back up to kilograms, and whenever I take it off, you'll see what it was. All right, so 67.9 kilograms. All right, done with that. Get that out of the way. Now we're going to start taking it apart. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get this fan guard off. I'll spin it around here. I'm going to have to turn it because where the bolts are located. Let me get my impact. We are somewhat organized here now as far as my tools. So that's great. Anyway, guys, I should have warned you if you're wearing ear pods, this might be kind of noisy. Ooh, broke that one off. That's okay. Should be one more. Oh, look at this, guys. We've got something ferocious here. We're going to take a break. This here is our new garage dog. I don't know if you can see her over there. Sugar. Yeah, her name's Sugar. Don't let her fool you. She's a great Pyrenees. Good dog. Supposed to be a good guard dog. She's about 16 weeks now. Maybe 14. I don't remember. Anyway, she's a good dog. So back to what we was doing. And yes, she lives in the house, guys. With the three cats. But anyway, getting off subject here. Going back to this moment. So it's been dropped. This screw's been bent. So my socket's not really wanting to get on there very good so what we're going to do is get a hammer which I have right here on my other bench and we're going to bend some metal just so we can get it on there Just gonna resort to brute strength. All right, got that off. Now let's see here. We're gonna wait to do the fan. Yeah, it looks easy enough. It's one of these simple ones. I say that now it's gonna fight me probably. Only got one screw. Break it off of there, literally. <laughs> All right, 
there's that. All right, now what we're gonna do is it's got, if, this, if you guys have never done this before, uh, what holds this together is some real long bolts. They go from here to here, all the way through. this off the front. Maybe the greaser will hold on long enough to do that. Looks like it did. So now we're going to get a couple little chisels. Should have had them out already guys. Apologize. Looks like uh, the armature is going to come out with it, and uh, sorry, the rotor guys, I got yelled at. Armatures have copper wound into them, rotors don't, so we're dealing with a rotor. I was corrected. Alright, get that out of the way. Okay, so what we got here in this stator is uh, all the coils, it's all wound back and forth. Now, right now is the time to hit this with a grinder, make sure it's copper wound, these bow doors, and, um, oh, can't think of the blue ones that I get every now and again. They're notorious for having aluminum in them sometimes, so if it has aluminum, we'll throw it back together and sell it as an electric motor. If not, we'll go ahead and strip it out. Okay guys, you can't see it on camera. Uh, maybe I can get in there. See where I polished that off right here? That is definitely copper. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is knock the back cap off. These are, these are cast aluminum guys, don't throw them away. Uh, take that out for sure, the uh, greaser. Uh, I don't have a wrench up here right now for that size. We might get it in a minute. I got a pair of pliers that might get it. Or, I actually have a socket here that'll do it. These are actually brass if you want to hang on to them. Yeah, maybe that one. That one's not. That one's steel. All right. So now, this is good to go. There's no screws, no nothing. A lot of times there's a grounding screw in here. This one doesn't. This is clean cast aluminum now. After you take this thrust washer out. Don't need that. No, that's good clean cast aluminum. All right, next thing we're going to do is try to take this, uh, well... The pecker head off, guys. A lot of guys say that they don't say that anymore, but that's what it is. So what we do is just take that screw out. Looks like I'm going to need a 3/8 socket, which I have here. And the reason we're taking this off, guys, is cast aluminum as well. Might as well get every dollar you can when you're breaking these down. That one looks like it might be too corroded up to get off that way. So, hammer time. 
What we did is just knocked it off the screw. Good, clean cast aluminum. All right, don't get that out of the way. I've got this to deal with still. What I do, I just spin this and knock it off. Okay, there it is. Now you're done with the rotor. If I can get it off there, off there. There it is. Let's find the greaser in this one. Go back to the other socket. Boom, it's out. More clean cast aluminum. Get that grease shirt out of the sock. There we go. I'm kind of running through this a little quick today, guys. Uh, just kind of showing you how easy and fast it is to do one of these. I mean, you can take your time. I normally do, but... All right, guys, now what we're going to do is we're going to get this stator out of this housing. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the grinder and I ain't decided where I want to do it yet. And we're going to liberate it out of there. All right, we're going to try to get it with one cut. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put a face shield on. I don't need the tinted part, so we'll flip that up and uh, we'll just make a cut. So nice having plug-ins where I need them now. See if uh, she'll come out of there. Yep, it's gonna work one time. All right, set it. Down, too. Looks like the wires are holding it. Maybe it wants to go out the other way. All right, let's cut those wires off. Alright, 
there's that. All right, she still don't want to quite let go. All right, I think we got her now. Just had to make a little clearance. So, all right, guys, there's that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it up. And the side where the wires were coming in, where you hook the motor up, I'm going to put it on the downside. I'm going to grab my sawzall. Got my sawzall and my Diablo blade. It's a 12 inch blade. Put a battery in it. I'm going to cut the crown off. of it but it works better than the grinder so. I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back in just a minute. All right, guys, I got it cut off of there. Uh, I got the scale right here. I guess we can go up, go ahead and weigh it uh, if you want. 
We'll do all these at a different time, uh, later date. All right, guys, I got her back to pounds. Looks like we got five pounds, two ounces. Or 2.35 kilograms. Like I said, guys, we'll do the rest of it at a different date because we'll probably do a bunch of them together. Uh, we've got quite a few motors already tore apart in past videos that we'll, we'll go ahead and recover the copper after, after we get the uh, stators heated up and we'll pull it out. Um, that seemed to be a pretty good video last time. So, uh, maybe we'll make another good one this time. So, all right, guys, let's, let's, uh, call an end to this one for the day. And, uh, thank you for watching. And, uh, if you liked today's video, please hit that like button. It really helps get us out there. Uh, leave a comment. Like I say, I always read them all and I always reply. I love the, I love the interaction. And, uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.